Uh, in this last example, uh, let's explore the effect uh, of nonlinear transformation on the correlation coefficient. Uh, so we have uh, x and y are joint normal random variables. Uh, now obviously we uh, have yet not covered them, but this is just a preview, so we are going to talk about joint normals in the next lecture. Uh, but this, uh, this particular problem, uh, is this is the right time to just bring it up uh, to find the effect of uh, nonlinear transformation on the correlation coefficient uh, rho between x and y. So we uh, perform a nonlinear transformation on each uh, of them and obtain a as the exponential of x and b uh, the exponential of y. So a and b are two new random variables and we recognize them very well because we have looked at uh, them before. So a is log normal as is b. So um, we are also familiar with the process of how to find the mean of a and b and the variance of a and b given those quantities for x and y. So we get those and what we need to do is to find the correlation coefficient uh, between a and b. So in this expression we uh, know the mean of a uh, which is there on the screen and the mean of b and the standard deviation of a and standard deviation of b the only thing we do not know is the expectation of the product so eab is uh, not known so let's see if we can find that and again to find that we need to use knowledge which uh, we haven't discussed yet but again this is just a preview uh, so we define c as the product a b and we can express this as we can just see that this is exponential of uh, x plus y now the z which is x plus y uh, is also normal and this is what we haven't discussed formally that the normal family is closed under linear combinations so uh, if x and y are jointly normal so is their sum uh, z and uh, we just need to be able to find uh, the, the moments of, of z. And again, this is something we are going to see in the next lecture. Uh, but the mean of z is what you see on the screen, the sum of the means. And the variance of z is the sum of the variance plus an additional term, uh, which, uh, can, which comes from the covariance term. So that's uh, twice rho x, y, sigma x, sigma y. If if the rho was zero, uh, if x and y were independent, then we would just have the sum of the variance as the, uh, the variance of the sum as the sum of the variance. Uh, anyway, so uh, because we assert that z is normal, uh, exponential of z, which is c, is log normal. So we can find the mean of C. That's what we actually need. Uh, expectation of AB is expression of C, and if we knew that, then we could compute rho of AB. Uh, so going through the math, uh, we can find the mean of C in terms of uh, the mean, the variances and the correlation coefficients uh, of X and Y, and that's what you see on the screen. And then we can plug everything back together and uh, rho AB is what you see on the on the screen. Uh, it's a nonlinear relationship involving rho XY. So if you do a little bit of simplification, uh, then uh, we find that rho AB is actually not equal to rho XY uh, caused by the nonlinear transformation between uh, X and A and uh, Y and B. Now, for most cases, if, if um, V, the coefficient variation of uh, A and B are not too large, then this deviation between rho AB and rho XY is not too large also. But we'll uh, discuss this at some other time.